Welcome back everybody to a brand new episode of Pine Outdoors. Uh, we're back at it again. Tonight what I want to do is, so after I'm making my plastics and stuff, I have leftovers. Like I ran a bunch of uh, trout worms here. And it's this laminate color. It's kind of got like a green pumpkin brown with a green pumpkin. It makes like a sculpin color. But anyhow, I have lots of this stuff left over. And as you can see over here, I got a mound of it. And that's not even, that's just a little. I have all underneath over here is full of it too. So anyhow, I'm gonna work on melting some of that down. We're gonna run it through the meat grinder. And some of the best colors that I've ever made um, are actually from remelts. You'd be really, really surprised at how well, uh, how good of a color that you can get just remelting stuff. And uh, anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. And for today, or tonight rather, I picked two colors. Um, I generally try to stick with like uh, black colors. So, you know, like orange and yellow or red, you can mix some of that in there. And what I'm gonna do in this case is I have quite a bit of purple. Uh, I really ought, shouldn't have this much left over after I'm done with stuff, but sometimes it happens. So anyways, we're gonna be running this. We've got a little bit of blue here with some silver and copper flake in it. Uh, purple, that's the blood grape mix. And uh, then this, this is the clear shine right there. So I'm gonna mix these three and uh, we'll go with chartreuse, a little bit of white and orange. And if we need to do some color adjustment, we'll do that. So anyways, thank you guys for liking, commenting and subscribing. It really means a lot. I've been looking back over the channel and kind of, kind of figuring out which, which direction specifically I'm gonna go. And it seems as though the content that you guys are liking is just the mixing of stuff, mixing and making the bait. So today was just going to be a remelt episode. All right, boys and girls. Oh, there's one thing I wanted to show you guys. You know, I, I was looking at one of my videos as the most views right now. And I have failed to keep things kind of updated in the at least on the YouTube side of things and showing you guys a little bit more about kind of how our packaging has developed and whatever. Uh, I was looking at that clear shine video and, and I seen that I was using the old uh, bulk packaging stuff that's from like this, these bags. So anyways, <laughs> you gotta start somewhere, but here we are now. We're using a company called uh, Clear bags, really like working with them. Uh, I have a contact over there. If anybody's interested, I can always reach out for you or you can reach out to her. Anyhow, uh, so this is where, where we're at with our packaging and stuff. These have kind of sat out for a little while, a little dingy, but you know, I'm really proud of how things have progressed. You know, this, get this down here. You know, this, the packaging looks a lot better. I really prefer this clear packaging versus a lot of the other big brands because you can see, see right here some remelts that I ran yesterday. Pretty proud of these, you know, they, you just never know what you're gonna get. I wound up having to add a little bit of red and I got this sweet potato color on the top and this little pink color right here on the bottom. Try to get that in the light a little bit better where you guys can see it really like the way that those turned out and as an added bonus any of you guys that buy anything from me uh, these right here if you just send me a message on Facebook or through my store or send me an email or whatever when I got remelts like this they're still pretty durable I mean they're 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 good hard baits uh, I get nine cents each on these so I've got 600 right here if anybody's interested uh, the colors are constantly changing uh, and we never know if we might not ever get this color ever again. <laughs> exactly. Anyhow, we're going to start with these two 32 ounce cups. Uh, I ain't even going to worry about cleaning them. Uh, just because of the fact that we're going to be doing remelts, you know, and I don't ever really worry about 
having everything super clean you know we might wind up with a super awesome color so here's what we're going to start with this is the blue that i was showing you guys earlier this is a really cool color i wound up making uh makes a nice sour grape color if you mix this with the, the chartreuse so this is what we're going to start with here we'll just pile all this up there for now This should be plenty to get us what we need. So this is, we're just gonna start with, this is just a uh, meat grinder that I got from Harbor Freight. I don't remember if it was $60 or something like that, 30. Who knows what it was. Anyways, it's worth it. Just kind of keep everything here, get it kind of started. Sometimes it didn't hurt to take a little bit of your worm oil. be overheaping because we'll probably wind up with maybe maybe 20 between 20 and 16 ounces so that's our one side that's ready for lamination uh, we're gonna be running it through this machine don't look at the logo name on there I'm not gonna say anything about all that but anyways the machines preheated we'll have to heat our plastic slow in little sections to uh, make sure that we don't burn it and uh, here's some more another update too on more of what's kind of going on i'm moving away from the not necessarily the retail game i would say but i am dealing with wholesalers and i've really enjoyed that because uh, my other business experience i've been geared a lot uh in my life i have a lot of experience in the commercial realm that side of things and um i really like dealing with uh you know larger quantity projects it's just kind of more up my alley so like this this box over here this is an 800 bag order we've got about 75 percent of it done um, we're just waiting on stickers to label it underneath their name and uh, that's what we've been doing lately is i've just been manufacturing the baits and then uh, marketing the baits or putting somebody else's sticker name on there putting somebody else's sticker name on there and uh, letting them sell it as their own in-house. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you got a bait shop, if you've got uh, anything like that and you're looking for some in-house baits, um, we'd be more than glad to buy you. You can reach out through my, through the YouTube channel. You can reach out on Facebook. You can go on my website, find my phone number and give me a ring, you know. These are pretty large cups. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in for six minutes and hope for the best. Okay, our molds. Our molds are preheated. They're ready to rock and go. That's one good thing about the machine. Look, ain't nothing, ain't nothing all bad and ain't nothing all good. You know, there's always bits and pieces of one or the other. I'm not gonna say this machine is all bad. I've had a pretty bad experience with uh, uh, acquiring the machine, purchasing the machine. Uh, it took me about eight months, uh, maybe seven months, seven months to actually get the machine. And then this side, this, uh, this PID, this controller, this brain over here, this side took me, uh, I don't know, it was like a month and a half maybe two months to get uh, after I received it. It was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I will say one thing about the guy that makes the machines. He has awesome customer service. I think that maybe we just had a bad experience. It might've just been on this one. I don't know. But long story short, this is what we're gonna be using today. So basically it's got these levers here you know these are connected with these screws and whenever you pull this it opens up the valve under here on the bottom and that injects it into your mold you can 
adjust your adjust the machine higher or lower with this little uh, with this block here but today I'm just gonna be doing the two inch stinger baits and the mold height on this is 12 inches so this is what it looks like you know you get your mold in there and it just sits but the thing that you got to be on point with is you absolutely have to have your pressure has to be adjusted I mean down to a T one thing I have problems with if uh, anybody's watching that uh, is just purchasing this machine and you know what it is and you know who the manufacturer is uh it's marketed as a dual as a dual color machine as a, a dual lamb uh, as a laminate machine one color for this pot one color for this pot well in my mind when you're purchasing the dual it should do the everything the dual should do and it should also function as a single injection unit and one thing that did not come stock on my machine was this valve here i tried while this while this head was broke um i run a lot of single colors you know just like just like with these worms you know this is single color single color single color single color well if you don't have a silicone mat in here and i don't even know that that would even it, the manufacturer of this machine said that's what he does when he tests them is he puts a silicone mat i'm sure that works for him but this is the best thing that i found is i just i cut the line that come with it that goes see that your pressure comes from your compressor and it goes to this to the head of the unit uh, that goes on the top it sits up here and it stirs your glitter and glitter and color and all that your glitter but i wound up having to cut this line and i just ran down to home depot and got one of those quarter inch uh snap-on fitting things and so whenever i'm running single colors i just kill this side completely because what was happening for some reason or another this side leaks air and it will constantly put it into your mold mold and i fought and i fought with trying to get these bodies to come out right and i would always have air bubbles it would be riddled with little holes and it just didn't look good not professional and uh, it really was a source of frustration for me for a while okay 32333 we don't have to worry about 350 because this is already cooked this is remilled i really try not to breathe this stuff but you guys wouldn't be able to hear me without a respirator that is stellar So that side is for sure the right side is 100% ready I think I'm gonna put the left in maybe 60 seconds it's a really good idea to uh, give this a little heat stabilizer so it doesn't jack with your colors really with these colors I haven't had any problems darker colors but when you get into doing clears and like pearls whites that's when you will you definitely will have some problems with that so normally i use this plastic powder colorant from mmf that's my favorite stuff to get the hot colors but lure works has this quick and easy Chartreuse. It doesn't get nearly as hot, but in this case, I'm not going to use an immersion blender and mess with this all. So I kind of want to change this just a little bit, not much. Uh, this one, I want to put some of this in there, and uh, we'll give it a little drizzle, lighten it up just a, just a little. I actually like this kind of pumpkiny color. It's kind of a uh, I 
kind of fitting for this time of year, you know. We just had our first night of uh, uh, it being 28 degrees last night. So here's another thing is we're definitely going to want some flake in this side. So I'm going to go pretty heavy with this. Uh, I know that seems like a lot, but it is a lot, but I'd rather have a lot. I like the way that it looks with the, a lot of black color and uh, black glitter. Sorry. Makes it look nice. And for a little added dash here, we'll get a little bit of variant in our uh, the size of our flake. Make it a little bit more dynamic. So here we go. Okay, make sure our valve closed and into the pot we go. So that's where almost a full 16 ounces will get us. Go ahead and throw this into this side. We have a little bit more purple. We did fill that side pretty full. So yeah, now, now all we gotta do is put these on the top and I'll be right back. All right, one really cool thing about this machine is once you get it sealed up, pretty much all the fumes <coughs> stay inside. You ain't gotta deal with them. Um, that's one thing I like. Okay, so this is the point where we're going to have to adjust our pressure. And uh, maybe at some point in time I'll wind up doing another video on that. So here we're sitting at 7.5 and it's steady climbing up to 8, but I do not want that. So I'm going to uh, burp the tank. We're just going to sit here and watch. So see it's sitting at zero. I've got it clamped all the way down. We just want a slow trickle. Climbing 2.5. See and I'm liking that now. It should turn to three here in just a second. That's the kind of growth that I want on it. Um, that's honestly just about right. And it'll keep going up. It'll be like 3.5. But I just like a real slow, steady climb so I don't have like a really abrupt start stop. See, it's moving a little too fast for me there. I'm going to roll with that and see what happens. Temperature is stabilized. So what I want to do is I want to see, I like to check how this flows. Okay, those are pretty much about the same. Now I feel like we might have a little bit too much pressure. So let's run one this way. Let's just see what happens. We'll roll with it. And uh, so yeah, that's another thing. So you gotta also time this. I just give it a count of 20. I don't, it's not 20 seconds for sure. I can tell you that without a doubt it's definitely not 20 seconds but I call it that so 
if you can see it spits it out pretty good just like that i'm gonna go for a purple back with the the belly and the other color the orange whatever you want to call it so we'll go ahead and pop these plates off go ahead and change our view here and we'll see I could have screwed them up I could have been them just perfect Wow bro See, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You don't understand how cool these things wind up looking, man. Dang it, bro. For example, let's look at this one. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of fine tuning here. Maybe have it a little bit less. take a picture of that and put it as a thumbnail I'm very pleased with how that turned out so in my opinion that is a pretty stellar looking bait you know I, couldn't make one just dreaming that up by myself now it's in my recipe book and <laughs> you can see what I've used in it so I think it's a stellar color All right, that's the perfect, it's perfect just like that. And we want purple on the back. So let's let it run for about 20. other molds here I've got five of this one five of these 40 calves and it's stellar for pumping out lots and lots of these baits all right now all I was saying there was that's 120 so I mean maybe a couple couple minutes I mean maybe 60 seconds something like that so like I said not everything's all good not everything's all bad this, this machine definitely has a lot of advantages if you get one just be prepared uh, for it to take a while to get but my goodness look at that it's 40 of them and those are really good laminates too I mean they're not like you know, every once in a while you'll get some that the lamb in it, you're like, ah, I don't know, bro, but the fish ain't gonna care. That might be the one that the fish bite more is the one that's got looks a little funny or unusual or I guess less linear, I guess would be the thing to say. Without such a hard line on it. You know, you can run your temps up too if you wanna really blend those two colors together and you don't want such a hard line you can always just run your your flame and it's a lot hotter and that'll do it for you so all right so here we go with the brush hog i'm pretty sure this is a 3.8 inch brush hog we're kind of out of that season right now shoot fire these didn't fill up all the way either but <laughs> I'll go ahead and show them to you. That's how they turned out. <laughs> if you buy them from me, they'll have the little tails that go all the way down the end. So, so 
there you have it there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 16 16 times 40 is 640 so yeah very pleased with the way that these turned out and uh, couldn't be much happier than that so thank you guys for tuning in